Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 3rd of 2023. Well, it is titled Polaris and the Trail of Comet ZTF. So what do we see here? Well, here we have an image of the northern part of the sky. And off to the left, we see the location of the North Celestial Pole. Now we can see it labeled there. But you notice that the line is pointing to nothing. There is no star at the North Celestial Pole, just like the North Pole of the Earth. There is no specific marker there that would tell you exactly where the pole is. So we often in the northern hemisphere use the star Polaris, which is a little bit above the North Celestial Pole in this image, because it is a relatively bright star about the 50th brightest star in the sky, and is located very close to the North Celestial Pole at the current time. So we can use that as an identifier, but it's not exactly the North Celestial Pole. Now the North Pole is where everything will seem to turn around in the sky. It's kind of the axis point that there, you imagine the Earth's pole stretching out into the sky. That would be where it would intersect the sphere of the stars. And everything seems to spin around that and makes trails. So if you point a camera towards the North Pole and leave the shutter open for an extended period of time, you would then see that there the stars will make trails. The closer a star is to the North Pole, the smaller that trail will be. And if something were exactly at the North Pole, it would make no trail at all. It would just remain there. The further away you get from the North Celestial Pole, then the larger the arcs become. So this is where we get things like circumpolar stars. If you are close enough, a star close enough to the pole, that its circle never intersects the horizon, it will always be above the horizon, and would therefore be a circumpolar star. Now, which ones those are actually depends on your location, because where you are on Earth tells you how high the celestial pole will be in the sky. If you're at the North Pole of Earth, the celestial pole would be straight overhead and every star would be circumpolar. If you were at the equator, the North Celestial Pole would be on the horizon and no star would be circumpolar. In between, you'll get varying numbers of stars and different stars depending on exactly where you are on Earth. Now the other thing that we see here off to the right labeled is the trail of comet ZTF. And that is one of the comets visible in the sky right now. And in fact, very recently had its closest approach to Earth and is now heading back outward into the outer solar system. It had its closest approach to the sun in mid January and to Earth on the 1st of February and now is heading back out into the outer solar system. So it became bright enough to be seen with the naked eye but still needed a relatively dark sight to be able to see it. Now what you may also notice is that the comet's arc does not seem to quite line up with those of the stars. And that's because the comet is moving on a different path. All of the stars are very distant and their positions do not change drastically on even long time frames. They will remain essentially the same. A comet is an object within our solar system and takes a different path. So it will move slightly and you can see how it kind of cuts across a couple of the arcs of stars here as it makes its motion uh, from this image taken just a few days ago on January the 31st. So that was our picture of the day for February 3rd of 2023. It was titled Polaris and the Trail of Comet ZTF. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.